Hi everyone, Eli here, and this is the second in a series of videos on the Dwarven Forge Royal Stronghold. That is the flagship set from the uh, pre-configured castle system um, from the Dwarven Forge Castle Kickstarter. And so this builds the biggest, grandest castle of all. And what I'm going to do in this video is show you how to build a castle keep. That's probably the trickiest part, and uh, what I would recommend building first as you assemble your whole castle. So what I've done here is I've laid out all the parts you need for the keep, and basically that includes part of the back wall and pretty much the whole back wall of the castle and then the inner keep structure. So let's do a quick look at what we have here. We have um, some roof platforms, two of these uh, 4x8s and three 4x4s. We have a couple of these little specialty uh, insert walls, uh, magnetic post and door walls, two of each of those. Um, we have a bunch of the regular castle walls. Uh, there's three of the standard arrow slit walls. There's uh, two of the standard plain walls. There's uh, two sets of right and left uh, corner walls. And there's also two sets of right and left cutout corner walls. So that's what we have for walls. Ah, and there's one more. There's uh, the special modular wall here that accepts um, city builder inserts. Um, we have a bunch of crenellations here. We have four of the standard, um, just regular straight crenellations. We have four of the, uh, the special... Um, special crenellations that are designed to accept shutters and oil cauldrons and so forth. And we have four of the special uh, raised corner crenellations. We also have uh, four to each, uh, right and left, of these cutout crenellations that are fit against the towers. <clears throat> okay, over here we have some city builder style stuff. Uh, two dwarven pillars, um, three of these uh, cathedral window walls, one wall with a reinforced door, uh, four gargoyle posts, two of these special small walls, two double posts, um, this special arch insert wall, um, and then the new 2x4 city builder floor as well as a standard 4x4 stone floor. Okay, that's all your city builder elements. Um, in the middle here we have uh, basically all of the, the spacer cubes that you'll find in the set. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 of those. 14 spacer cubes. Uh, we'll have three of your standard 1x4 spacers. Um, we have four of the corner spacers. And we also have four of these inside uh, thinner corner pieces. Um, what I have here is two pre-built wall sections, uh, so that those each consist of a uh, straight wall, a spacer, a platform, and an arrow slit wall. So um, you'll want two more of those, and you can just pre-build those and have them ready. Um, and then finally, uh, we have some floor pieces, three of the 4x4 four four floors, four of the standard 2x2 two two floors, and these are basically identical to your standard dungeon tiles two of the 1x6 floors, two of the 1x2 floors, and four standard stairs, four of the small stairs, and finally the battlements. Um, and what we have here is two each of the left and right battlements that have the extra bit of wall here, uh, six of the standard straight battlements, and two of the corner battlements. And that is everything you need to put together your keep. So, where to begin? Uh, we'll start by, actually I find it helpful to create a little bit of a floor outline. So take your two 1x6s, pop them together, 1x2s on each end, there. Okay, that's going to create a little shape that you're going to, it's basically going to be the, uh, the base inside the courtyard that your, your keep will fit against. So what goes up against that? <clears throat> We're going to start, start by building a couple corners. So, uh, not using these, using the, the corner walls. Okay, so beveled corners. Um, we have a left and a right. Oops. All right, and that's going to go right there. And we'll do the same on the other side. And left and a right, but the corner. All right. What fits in there? We have two of these. Um, two of these blocks. Let's make sure our magnets, that's where the, the big stone is. We'll put those um, facing these little pieces so those will click on there and insert and on there, insert 
All right, so this, what we have now is we have a sort of inner hall. This could be your throne room or a meeting place or, you know, a feast room um, for, for the king and his uh, minions. All right, now um, alongside of this, we'll put a couple of these uh, cubes. Let's set these, um, let's see, we'll put the magnets so one connects to the other like so. Whoops, it's pushing against the, I'm pushing the other direction. Okay, and a couple more there. All right, now what we've created here is a little bit of a, an outer approach um, to the keep. Um, and we're going to have stairs running right up onto there. So we'll set those there right now. Um, now we'll build the inner part of the keep here. So how do you get into this hall? We'll use uh, our special modular wall and the arch wall to get into it. And that can magnet right onto the back of these, uh, these cubes. And then this is where we use our, our uh, plain walls. Um, they'll fit right in the middle here. Actually, we'll put them, we'll face them in the other direction so the nubs don't get in the way. And we'll put against them um, more cubes. So, one of those right here. Again, we'll face the magnets um, toward me. In this case, this is toward the back wall of the back wall of the castle. Uh, so you know, the front and the main gatehouse will be out here. This will be the back wall. All right, one more of these right here. Okay, that's all locked in. Now we need one more of these in each corner. Let's connect them to our corner piece like so. And here and corner piece and here. All right. Now these uh, wall sections, let's face that up. We'll put one on each side here. Now you you can see sort of the oops. This is trying to be difficult. Um, you can see how this forms the, the sides of the keep and it'll run out this way. Now we need some corners. Okay, so in this case we're going to use the cutout corner walls. And our last two corner inserts, and uh, oops, this here, this here, because these corners are going to have towers on them, so this provides access into the tower in the corner. In the next video in the series I will show you building corners. Okay, so now we have a big intersection here, and to do that, we'll uh, just set some spacers in here. Those will magnet right onto the blocks, which, as you remember, we face the magnets this way. And here's a closer look at the interior of the keep um, that we're building here. Uh, you can see the layout of the the spacer cubes and the individual spacers, and you can see how we've got the the large stones indicating that all the magnets are facing toward the toward the spacers here. Um, in the case of this cube, we've got the magnet attaching to the uh, to the inner corner piece. Um, and then here's the inside of the uh, the other section of the keep, so you can see the layout of that. And then we've got our three arrow slit walls. Those lock right in there. Okay, so now that's your main uh, lower floor of the of the keep. Um, oh, we need doorways. Okay, so basically you've got you've got your uh, two by two door wall here. To that, using the little magnet, we'll add uh, one of these posts, and that and that gives you something to rest on there. And same over here. So that that provides access. You climb up here, move across. Okay, let's add some defenses. Okay, so we'll have crenellation here, and we'll pop in one of these standard floors right there. So now we have somewhere to station the guards outside the door. We'll complete the stairway up here with these, these short stairs, like so. There's that. Now, the next thing we can do is um, add the next layer. Okay, so this is your this is your main interior. Now we'll put some roof platforms on. There's one here. 
and then actually probably would offset that one like so. Um, we could have put a third wide one here, but we gave you two smaller ones to give you more versatility because we wanted this set to be um, more useful for building extra things as well. So you have those there. All right, now from here we can build up. Okay, so now we'll put the upper layer of the keep on, including the battlements and crenellations and the, uh, the upper structure. Um, I've just rearranged things a little bit to make it easier to grab a hold of things and to so you can see it all more clearly. So where we'll start is we'll start with the battlements and we'll start with these corner battlements which clip onto the corners here using the inner and outer corbels. Just go on here nice and smoothly. And like so. Alright, a couple straight standard battlements in the middle. We'll take and put this um, 4x4 floor right here. Um, now we'll take a uh, a right and a left of these uh, special indent battlements that have the extra bit of wall on here and uh, those go right on either side here and the reason we use those we could have just used straight battlements but including these in the set gives you a few more options for customizing if you want to uh, connect to crenellation somewhere or whatever if you're doing any modifications down the line so uh, some more straight battlements in the back um, put on four of those along here um, couple of your, your standard floor tiles right in the middle. Um, actually, this is a good point to point out. Uh, this is one more piece that wasn't, I don't think I pointed out in the initial uh, layout, these special cutout corner pieces. I'll show you where those go in just a moment. Um, okay, so then still working along the back here, we'll use another right and left, um, the specialty battlements. Those go there, and what that does is it provides you a, a jog inward, so you can connect to these uh, cut out crenellation pieces and these are um, they're curved to fit alongside the towers that will be going in the corners. Okay then we'll grab a couple of these uh, standard straight crenellation pieces. Um, these are the same as were available in the, the uh, City Builder Kickstarter but uh, we've got some here. Those fit right in there or they can fit this way or actually this way. Um, either option uh, works nicely. Um, I actually kind of like to put them this way. It creates a little corridor um, alongside what will be the upper keep. And then finally, um, we'll take these pieces and those will go right here. And that's where you see this little cutout corner will fit up nicely against the tower. So that's going to go right there. Okay, there are those. Um, now we have sort of the, the main deck, as it were, built. Um, next thing we're going to do is build the upper structure, and that uses these city builder pieces, a standard city builder 4x4 stone floor and one of the new specialty 2x4 floors. Um, and we'll start with those. We'll connect those using a couple double posts. Just sliding the pegs into the peg holes, like so. Makes that one nice solid unit. We'll take our gargoyle posts, put these in the corners. structure for the walls and now we'll add the walls themselves so we've got um, a reinforced door we'll put that here say that can go on any side of course um, some of these nice cathedral type windows these can go here and here and here and finally we've got these little special small stone walls and those slide right into the uh, the ends of the uh, two by four floor here. Okay, now we've got a little bit of a structure here. We can put that up top. Um, I like to put the door here. It makes sense to me that the, the king or whoever's up here would want to wander out and overlook the courtyard. Um, but it can, like I said, just as easily go on any side. And then we need a, we need a top for this. So we've got, uh, uh, let's start with the, the dwarven pillars. They go in here to provide support. Then we pop these guys on these guys on and finally we've got uh, a couple of these uh, special uh, accessory crenellations designed to receive shutters or oil cauldrons or what have you and those will go right there um, at that point your keep is is pretty much built except for adding a few flags and accessories so that's the that's the main structure of that um, in the next video I'll show you how to build the towers 
And then finally we'll complete the walls and, and that will finish up your royal stronghold.